Hello and welcome to a special report by Rochel Art Center. My name is Mohsen Benkhana and uh, today we got an update on the recent terrorist attack by the Iranian regime on the Kurdistan Democratic Party's headquarters. So this attack occurred on the 20th December 2016 where two explosions happened in front of the Kurdistan Democratic Party headquarters at 10 p.m. Uh, local time, at real time. Uh, while people were uh, leaving the headquarters after attending the memorial ceremony honoring Dr. Abdulrahman Qasim Lu. So unfortunately in this terrorist attack by the hands of the Iranian regime, uh, several people have lost their lives, uh, among them uh, five members of the political party and uh, two security guards, among them Adnan Abdullah and uh, one more uh, uh, has lost his life unfortunately and several people have been uh, wounded. And uh, like always, the Islamic Republic of Iran is not uh, uh, claiming the terrorist attack uh, like uh, ISIS or Al-Qaeda. Uh, they are always exporting terrorism, they are always planning terrorism, but uh, they are always hiding their faces and showing a different face to the world, talking about uh, human rights, uh, torturing people inside Iran, talking about uh, world values, uh, human values and humanity and uh, supporting terrorists uh, and uh, dictators who are butchering people in Syria. They have been exporting terrorism for several years. This is not the first or last attack. Uh, several leaders uh, and uh, members of the political party and political parties in general of uh, Iran and uh, Iranian Kurdistan have been martyred by this uh, brutal barbaric regime of Iran and uh, this of course is not the first and last terrorist attack. We also have reports from uh, many sources from within Eastern Kurdistan claiming to have seen uh, secret service uh, members going to uh, the homes of the relatives and family of the victims of the martyrs and threatening uh, and warning the families not to mourn them and uh, warning them uh, not to go to Iraqi Kurdistan, the uh, South Kurdistani city of Koya where the graves are located. So this is the nature of the Islamic Republic of Iran, this is the Shia version of ISIS. There's no difference between ISIS and uh, the Iranian regime. Uh, what the, the ISIS does, Iran does the same. They are hiding it, they are showing a different face to the world but uh, they are a great danger to the world peace and they are a great danger to peace in the Middle East. They have been uh, exporting terrorism, they have been killing, butchering their own people and they are making nuclear weapons right now. This is a great danger, I hope the next uh, administration in the United States uh, understands the danger of this regime and uh, I wish uh, Donald uh, Trump, the next president of the United States uh, of America, uh, uh, the best. I hope uh, he will uh, understand that uh, this regime does not understand uh, dialogue and negotiations and uh, this regime needs to be handled uh, uh, a lot harsher than uh, the Obama administration has done and it is due to Obama's uh, policies in the Middle East that Iran is now still exporting terrorism and uh, having a, a bigger uh, hand in uh, the Middle East and all the evil things occurring right now in the Middle East. So uh, this was a special report by Rosalat Center. I'm your host Mohsen Bahana. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.